Hello everyone, and in today's news, BuzzFeed doesn't get meninism. And in a recent article called uh, Women Who Are Against Fem Feminism Are Now Turning to Meninism, I think I'm paraphrasing the title there, they seem to forget that, or do not know, or just disregard the fact that meninism is a satire, a satirical movement, a joke movement, meant to ridicule and point the finger at feminism and to basically use their tactics and their rhetoric but replace the word women with men but BuzzFeed being BuzzFeed didn't quite get that and the article written by uh, Rosalind Warren or Rosalind, Rosalind I'm gonna say it starts off with frustrated with the feminist movement many women are choosing to turn to what they believe is the next best option in fighting for gender equality meninism um, meninism isn't really a movement it's just a, a joke a satire but okay Rosalind I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and say that you don't know what meninism really is meninism a men's rights movement that claims to campaign for men to have the same quality as women has had a surge of support across social media in recent months. It's not a men's rights movement, it's not part of the manosphere or the men's rights movement. It is a satirical joke, a movement that is just there to take the piss. That's all it is. A large part of its popularity has been spurred on by social media accounts that tweet sexist and anti-feminist messages and photos. No, they are not sexist and yes they are anti-feminist to some degree but it's funny you see when you take out all the feminist rhetoric and replace it with rhetoric that is of um, of a male so say like down with the patriarchy replaces it with down with the matriarchy that is apparently sexist that's what they're trying to show you that the feminist arguments the third wave feminist arguments that you see all over twitter and tumblr are sexist but you know, self-awareness is not a well-known skill and trait that people in BuzzFeed and Third Way Feminism have, so you know. The leading Meninist account is Meninist Tweets, which has over 900,000 followers. The account shares jokes about issues such as sexism and sexual assault, but insists the movement is a parody. It is a parody! So you know that it is a parody, or do you not believe them that it's a parody? It's well a well-known satire. Even other feminists know it's a satire, but somehow you seem to think that it's real and that these guys are MRAs. They're not. Maybe a few are MRAs, but they choose to participate in this because it's fun and it mocks you. But then again, since when was humour a, a trait of feminists nowadays and BuzzFeed? Hmm. Oh well. Despite this claim that the movement is not to be taken seriously, Many argue that the account's sexist content only adds to and fuels gender inequality. No, no, no. Just because there's jokes about gender, bear in mind, they're taking what you say about men and making it about women. How is that sexist? It's clearly not sexist. If anything, what you say about men is sexist. That's what they're saying. That's what... Can you believe it? When you sw swap the genders around, as I've said before, it's now sexist. Hypocrisy, I said. And, as we can see, they, they point a load of like tweets and pictures of tweets about people not realising that it's a joke. Because it is a joke. And let me read one of them. Beer. Helping ugly guys get laid since 1876. Rough and... Rough... Uh, Rohypnol. I can't say Rohypnol. <laughs> yeah. And there's, there's one of them, but I don't know if I can read this. But let's have a look. I cannot read this one apparently. I hear ya. If you say woman fast enough, it makes it sounds like making me a sandwich. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is so dumb. How the hell does this promote gender inequality? Let's have a look at another one. All the time I miss my ex is when I swing and she don't. <laughs> He's clearly taking the piss. I'm sorry. How can you say that this is this is like uh, promoting gender inequality? It's clearly over machismo, over the top. How can you take this seriously? But th as I said, they don't have a sense of humour, these feminists and these women. They just don't. And I'm glad that more women are joining the men in this movement because they have a sense of humour and they are normal people. Here's the one that, here's one that they won't like. 
Rape should be legalised. Women were put on this earth to please men. They are no more than sexual objects. <laughs> you see, they're just using the feminist the feminist rhetoric of what they think that men think about women and turn it into a joke. Because it is a joke. Anyway, let's carry on with this uh, article. You see, it's I, I call it an article because it's hardly any any writing at all. While it used to mostly be male supporters of the movement who bought Meninist branded t-shirts, more women are proudly sharing photos of themselves wearing them too. Maybe this says more about you feminists than it does about Meninists. If these, if more and more women are joining this uh, movement, I think the fact that they're willing to join a joke movement and get in on the joke against you feminists means that you are a joke. You have not got the pulling power you once had and that you've gone so far left field that uh, these women are fed up with you. That they'd rather hang out with the normal people and the lads who just want to have a laugh rather than, you know, be a feminist. The photos of female meninist supporters are then widely shared on meninist Tumblr and Twitter accounts that reblog anti-feminist posts. You see, so what? It's okay to be anti-feminist and not be sexist. None of those tweets are sexist. They were tongue-in-cheek, over the top, and were basically saying what you say about men. You literally do think that men see women as sex objects. So what do you think the meninist people do? They say all these things, tongue-in-cheek, with irony, and throw it back at you. And you, you fall for it. Hook, line, and sinker. One Tumblr page links to an article that declares that women have more rights than men, which is true, and I'm not going to list them because I've already listed them in several videos in the past. One of the five legally enshrined rights the author of the article claims that women have and men do not is women have the right to call unwanted coerced sex rape. That's a joke. He's not being serious or she's being serious. I don't actually know who who runs the author of the article or whoever it is. You've not said what it is. I mean, look, you just have a look at the, the, the article. I'll link it in the description below. It's crazy. This, uh, this author... This journalist is just completely f fooled. Uh, many supporters of meninism say that they're being shamed for wearing meninist t-shirts. Yes, they are. By feminists who don't get a joke, who say that if you do not support feminism, you support rape culture, you are sexist, you are misogynist, you are against equality. No wonder they're getting, they think they're being shamed. Because that's what feminism do. They cry and denounce shaming while at the same time shame people because they're not feminist, or because they're male, or because they're white, or hell, whatever. They, it could be anything that they disagree with, you will be shamed on. I mean, they slut shame women in games, people who don't exist, because apparently they wear too revealing clothes, and yet they will denounce a conservative man for saying that he thinks women are wearing too many revealing clothes. Can you not see the fucking irony in that, in the hypocrisy, Rosaline? One Twitter user told BuzzFeed News she bought a men in this t-shirt because it would get people mad. And that is the point! This is the point of meninism. It's provocative, it's tongue-in-cheek, it's banter. Women can uh, women have a sense of humour too, you know. It seems to me that you don't like that, yet at the same time you always attack comedy for being sexist. I got it because I knew feminists would tell me that I cannot wear it, she said. Which yet again is hypocritical if you think about it. She's got a point! She's got a point! Women can wear whatever we want. Hashtag men in this t-shirt. Take that off. Feminism is for equality. You are a supporter of rape culture. You know, need I say more? She added, contrary to popular belief, I did not buy it to get attention from guys. Now, I did not make that assumption, but apparently the feminists are the ones making the assumption that the women are doing this to get guys. And, and if they are, so what? So what? If you want to get girls or guys, you can do anything you want to get their attention. As long as it's legal. And as long as you're not being too crazy about that. But anyway, that's the end of the article. Or, article. Poe's Law in Effect, y'all. Poe's Law in Effect. I've, I don't think I've ever seen such a bright example of that. And just further proof that feminism is going down the drain and it's just taking itself far, far too seriously that a satirical movement is getting attacked in BuzzFeed, but it's BuzzFeed, and you know, need I say more? This has been Chang Man 93 like and share the video, drop a comment, 
subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later.